welcome back to my channel sorry that it took a while for me to get this into rotation review to you all but I promise it's a crazy story hold on tight because you're in for a ride okay so let's just get right into it So on my pediatric rotation, it was wonderful. I was in a rural area yet again. Um, I was at a federal funded facility. Uh, we saw patients who didn't have insurance, patients with Medicaid, of course. And I saw a variety of patients from 17 days old, a straight newborn, all the way up into 18 year olds for their sports physicals. Uh, we encountered a lot, a lot of vaccinations, a lot of crying because they did not want the vaccinations, of course, and a whole lot of other things that go with pediatrics. Um, I always heard in didactic year that peds was their own entity, that they were our therapeutic orphans, as my pharmacology teacher calls them. but. I understood that they were different, but I never really knew how different. And let's just say, peds is like a whole nother species. It's like <laughs> they have their own medications, they have their own needs, they have their own wants. They, there is nothing like adults in geriatrics, of course. And geriatrics is nothing like adults, but I'm so used to treating just adults. Um, management of chronic diseases with geriatrics. Um, I don't know how many of you know I started off doing home health as a CNA from uh, the end of my high school career through undergrad. I did home health. I worked with Alzheimer's patients, nursing home patients, all sorts of residents and stuff like that. So I mean, I was stuck on that and I knew going into pediatrics, I'm like, okay, yeah, they're babies. I mean, okay, yeah, what else? A lot else blood pressure is different heart rates different pulse um, and even the way you are you write your HPI and present it is different like going into okay what are they here for if it's a, still an infant um, a newborn how was delivery what were their APGAR scores um, are you breastfeeding uh, are you having any trouble with breastfeeding? Are you using formula? Uh, if they are breastfeeding, we talk about vitamin D supplements. If they're breastfeeding after four months, you might want to introduce iron supplements. Um, there's all sorts of things to think about, to look for. Um, are you smoking around your children? Any complications with birth? Was it assisted birth? Uh, was it a C-section? What runs in your family is mostly talking to the parent because the child can't tell you what's going on with them and they cry and or some some babies were really chill like they didn't have any problems they was just here for their checkup but they didn't like I don't know not one child that came in that didn't think that we were giving them shots unless they were just too young to understand what was going on but none of them liked shots of course but for the most part most of them were healthy now here's where the twist comes in and this is what prolonged me getting this video to you guys. I, towards the end, we had a lot of sports physicals. We also had a lot of fevers and um, uh, not eating or just fevers and them rumping their neck. Turns out a lot of kids had strep throat towards the end of my rotation and guess what? I caught it. I caught strep throat on my last week of rotation on a Tuesday and then I caught something else on top of it. They believe it could have been uh, some type of staph infection or something. I had two things going on at once and then I had another problem, another health issue. So I had three things going on at once, ended up in the emergency room. I had every antibiotic you can name, every antibiotic you can name. and. Um, after a good old shot of Rocephin, I was set straight. So I'm back. I'm getting my life back on track. I had to miss a day of school. I had to make up my end of rotation exam. Like it threw me all off and out of whack. But I am back. I am right now. I'm in the beginning of my first week on my surgery rotation. I'm in general surgery. And I will, of course, have a video for you guys on time on that in three more weeks. 
but um back to pediatrics yeah a lot of kids had strep um and they like, we gave out a lot of amoxicillin uh on on the other hand um sports physicals we had a lot of guys come in because they played either baseball basketball football or soccer but um what was really cool was that I finally got a chance to do physicals. We, that was something we talked about in school, but we never really learned how to do. Like, we learned how to do a physical exam from head to toe, and that's basically what a physical is. But um, just to be able to perform it on an athlete myself and hear athletes' heart, their heart rate is so slow. And I think that is just amazing, the physiology. Um, what else? I didn't see any hernias, but I got a lot of testicular exams. Yeah, that was fun. Not. But anyway, um, other than that, the staff was friendly. The facility was nice. It was clean. I had a nice lunch break, almost two-hour lunch break every day. Um, on a minimum, we would see at least nine patients. On a max, we would see like 25 patients towards the end it the it started to pick up the flow started to pick up um i would say anybody that want to work in peds uh prepare to either get your tonsils removed or to to be sick because you catch a lot of bugs they don't like to wear masks because you scare the children they're already scared because they think that they're getting shot so just be prepared to get sick a lot and I mean, I don't know about anybody else's PA program, but we focus on more so uh, adults. We didn't have a pediatric course, so going into this just kind of boom, you know. So um, we did study a little bit of pediatrics, but not in depth. So I would definitely say if you're thinking about doing pediatrics, make sure you do your research and make sure you study up and you know what you're getting yourself into. Because um, pediatrics and adults is like a world of difference. But other than that, I mean... Um, that's all I have for you on my pediatric rotation. I loved it, but um, I always thought I wanted to be a pediatric cardiologist, and that might be something I still want to do, but I know working in pediatrics, like seeing from birth to 18, I'm not really sure if that's what I want to do, but we will see. I won't speak too fast. We'll see. Um, also, switching gears, so... Um, I mentioned that I have a book coming out in September the 14th, and it is now available on Amazon. If you go on Amazon and type in Unfold My Ashes, I will pop up, and it's for pre-order for $5.99, guys, $5.99. And what's really cool is they sent me my copy of my first, my first copy of my book, and I'm in love with it. Um, the paperback copy will be out on September 28th and if you're in the South Carolina or Florence surrounding areas I will be having a book signing October the 6th at Dolce Vita from 12 to 2 so make sure you support your own make sure you come in uh, you read my book you tell me what you think um, and if you want me to speak about anything leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe and oh, just really quick, I'm sorry y'all, I'm all over the place. Remember, I'm still getting it together, but we are preparing to graduate. We are T minus, let's see, September, October, November, four months out, last semester, and I am starting to look for jobs. Um, I am preparing to start getting ready for the pants. Well, I kind of been studying throughout the year, but it's a very critical time you know we have a capstone project and everything so i will also be keeping you guys updated on that as well again thank you for coming to my channel expect another video from me in another three weeks don't forget to subscribe and please support me on my first book available now on amazon and ekindle